While improvements in diagnosis, treatment and management of septic patients in modern intensive care units has gradually increased survival rates, overall mortality remains very high and incidence of sepsis is on the rise worldwide. The vast majority of new diagnostics, treatment approaches and new experimental interventions currently used in septic patients have undergone pre-clinical testing in animal studies before implementation into clinical care. For more than two decades, specific standardised guidelines developed to guide the clinical care of patients with sepsis and septic shock have been utilised and are continuously updated to incorporate the latest best research and practice. In contrast, preclinical sepsis studies lack standardization and clear guidelines. Study designs often have a high level of complexity caused by the use of different animal species, among other things. This serious quality gap between clinical and preclinical studies limits the utility of animal sepsis research and the translational capability of its findings to septic patients at the bedside. To address this deficit, the Wiggers Bernard Conference was organised in 2017 in Vienna to create the so called Minimum Quality Threshold in Preclinical Sepsis Studies, or MQTIPSS. 31 experts from 13 countries gathered to address the most critical concepts in animal sepsis modelling, and six working groups identified the most important consensus MQTIPSS. The first element of the Wiggers Bernard Conference consensus was formulation of the sepsis definition for preclinical sepsis models, which is compatible with the sepsis 3 clinical definition. In addition, 29 consensus statements were generated, with 20 at recommendation strength and 9 at consideration strength. The proposed MQTIPSS consensus points aim at improving quality of preclinical experimentation by providing the missing standardization framework. This in turn will likely enhance the utility and translatability of animal research. For more details, read the executive summary with all the recommendations, which is published simultaneously in ICMX Infection and Shock Journals.